it is an extensive outreach operation going on here in East Boston. Uh, our goal today is to literally knock on every single door, every single residence of this entire neighborhood. And there's a special focus and emphasis on um, issues of substance abuse and public health. And it, it's an issue that affects every neighborhood, but it's one that here in East Boston um, has uh, become particularly troublesome and we don't want to sit around and wait. It's about, you know, people in contact, communications, helping people might have a problem, but also coming to a solution for the problem of addiction. It's a public health issue. We want to help people out there. We all know how it affects our family. We we'll make sure we help other families out there. We're afraid to come forward. We have a caring community who wants to make a difference. Uh, all different walks of life, all different uh, nationalities, all different colors of skin. They're all here to help people um, learn about drug addiction, but also to help uh, people who might have a problem to get off the car. There's no shame in asking for help. There's no shame in offering it either. It does not uh, care how wealthy you are. It doesn't care how educated you are. It doesn't care where you live. If we're able to save one life today, it's a success. And from the bottom of my heart, mm -hmm. I thank each and every one of you. We could save one life today if we could get some information to one family that feels lost and hopeless and help that family then we were successful. What's most important is the recognition that prevention is the most uh, powerful tool that we have in this problem. Uh, we don't want to be arresting people. We don't want to have to lock people up. We're here today to try to prevent the problem from becoming a problem. We're going to be asking neighbors if they're willing to share some information with us about what issues are really of concern to them, how the city can help strengthen this neighborhood, and what they think we should be doing to create a drug-free East Boston. Uh, all of us in the neighborhood have been, you know, either our family or friends have been impacted by not just illegal drugs, but also by, you know, by illegal drugs and the misuse of those drugs. Uh, so I think it's wonderful that we can get uh, professional people out there uh, and make people aware of the services that are there. I'm here today to help volunteer, to hope make a difference. See if anybody needs help uh, with addiction, let them know that there's help out there and there's places they can turn and uh, people out there that want to help them. Um, a lot of people affected by drug addiction, it's a big problem. And uh, so Boston's trying to make a step to make a difference. Uh, my name is Noah Stockton, um, and uh, here we're doing a, a door knock in East Boston today. Uh, we're going to reach out to some families um, in their homes and try to uh, get some surveys, uh, survey information from them about their needs in the community. And we're also going to uh, be offering them resources and leaving uh, some materials behind for them uh, for services in the community. Yeah, uh, my name is Mauro Reyes, I'm a volunteer. In general, they, they say that the situation in East Boston, especially in this area, is, is better and, and, you know, in comparison with like a three or five years ago. Um, yeah, it's, uh, all people is Latino here. Uh, they, you know, they interview us in Spanish, Espanol, and, um, but it's very healthy for the neighborhood. And I feel so glad about that. You know, we can do a little bit for them for the people in East Boston. There's no better way to connect with residents and to help people and to actually talk to them face to face on the doorstep. So this is just a very powerful tool to be able to reach people. And in the age of landlines disappearing in households, uh, cell phone usage being what people primarily use, and in certain populations in our city that are extremely transient, sometimes it's really, really difficult to reach them through the mail, to reach them on the telephone, the, really the best bet you have is by knocking on their door and talking to them face to face about the issues that, are, that they're struggling with. And uh, to me that's sort of the, the purest, most noble form of public service.